Hey folks, welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Curtis Dvorak. And I'm Hattie Jamal. Now, Curtis, we talk about this quite a lot on the show because you are heavily involved with a lot of local charities, but uh, the need does not ever really go away for any of these causes. No doubt. And this year, it's even bigger than ever because so many of these charities, as we keep telling you, have not been able to have their fundraising. Uh, and one of those is Community Hospice. And they have their Halloween doors and more always this time of year. And they've had to adapt and change the way they're doing things, but you can still help them. And I talked to Amy Davis, and she's in charge of this whole project there, and she can give you all the details about how you can help Community Hospice and Peds Care. Community Peds Care is um, the pediatric program of Community Hospice, and we help families with life-limiting and life-threatening conditions. So we take a team approach, physician, nurse, social worker, child life specialist, and we really help the family adapt to daily living and make sure they have the best life possible for their whole family um, and can live a normal life. And um, this started started 16, 16 years ago. I remember being at the first one and uh, there at the fairgrounds. It's always an annual event that I love going to. Um, you've had to adjust this year. Uh, what are some of the changes that you made and what, what can people do to get involved? So we wanted to make sure we had a safe opportunity for families. Um, and so we're starting with um, a safari around Jacksonville. And so we have over 30 homes that have decorated their front doors, their yards. They've, they've gone all out, whole neighborhoods, you know, streets have gone all out and decorated. Um, and so you can drive around, you pay $20, you get a map of where you can go and then you get clues. You fill out all those clues, submit it back to us and you could be entered in for a prize. And then we have three days of drive-in movies. Um, so you bring your food, your drinks, you come, you watch a movie, um, and you have a great family experience at the Jacksonville Fairgrounds. That's what I was going to ask there, as far as the drive-in movies, because this whole event used to be at the fairgrounds, and uh, it's outside there at the fairgrounds. People just pull in, and we're going to be watching movies. You know, we can't say which movies. You'll see them on the screen, folks, by legal reasons. But um, So is there a limited amount of uh, spaces for that? So we have 300 cars a day that we can fit in the fairgrounds, but, um, you know, we, we can fit people and we'd love to have them join us. And in the safari, 30 different homes around town, um, again, for people to participate in both, what's the cost and then where does the money go? So $20 for the safari and then $25 per movie, or if you purchase all four, it's $75. So it's a great week of entertainment for families. Um, you can actually get out of the house and have a safe experience. Um, and, uh, you know, you can visit hcm.communityhospice.com and get all the details. And, and again, the, this, the money this helps and the people this helps. Uh, what you guys do, I know I say this every time we talk, Amy, I, I, I truly love what you guys do and everyone there, give them thanks again because the work you guys do is, is incredible um but uh what is this money going to help you guys do so it helps fund community peds care it's an unfunded program we don't get any reimbursement and we don't charge our families so we want to make sure that the families have the best care and can have the most normal life they can have with a child with a life-threatening and life-limiting life condition all right well uh I'll, I'll miss i'll miss being there uh with all the kids running around all the make-believe houses and stuff but uh i'm really glad you guys were able to to get something put together for this year so one more time where can our viewers go to, to sign up for both of these or just to donate they can go to hcm.communityhospice.com or call 886-3883 thank you so much for having us we appreciate it curtis Anytime, you know that, Amy. All right, folks, there you go. Head there, help this, help Community Peds Care out. Uh, it's unbelievable what they do. And again, we'll put this on the website. So you can check it out again at firstcoastliving.net.